Hi, welcome to the Frugal Frau. I'm Suki, your host. And today we're going to show you how to cut dovetails from two pieces of wood of unequal thickness. So we have a thin piece here and a thicker piece here, and you can still cut dovetails. However, before we get started, please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments too, and we will try to get to them also. So let's get started. Use a marking gauge to determine the thickness of the thicker board and set the gauge. Then mark that on the thinner board. In this example, we will be cutting the dovetails from the thinner board and the pins into the thicker board. Mark all four sides, both faces and both edges. Repeat the process by setting the gauge to the thickness of the thinner board, set the gauge, and then mark that onto the thicker board where the pins will be cut from. Be sure to scratch those marks on the two faces of the thicker board and also on the two edges of the board. Find the exact width of the board and then set the redneck slide rule to the approximate halfway mark and mark a mark from each end or each edge of the board. Those two marks will not exactly be lined up, but the center will be right between those two marks. And that is a handy way to easily find the exact center. Next, mark the halfway point between the center line and both of the outer edges. These three marks each mark the centers of each of the three center pins. And these will be the full pins. The pins on the very outer edges will each be approximately half width pins. Thus, there will be exactly four dovetails, which are left after the pins are cut from this board. And Tom is showing us the center of the chisel that he marked with the little mark, and he's going to use that mark to line up the chisel with the three center lines. And that's just to help when he starts the cut out of the pins. On the edges, he picks up a smaller chisel to mark those. Tom is deepening the center line marks of the pins to make them more visible, as this will aid in using the angle finder to mark them from the outer edge of each pin to be cut up to the center line, ensuring the pins are symmetrical triangles when they are cut. And if this is confusing, I have made this diagram to explain how we mark and cut the dovetails and the pins. Use the angle finder to find the angle from the base of each pin up to the center. Set the angle and mark each of the pins. This will keep the pins symmetrical. Note that we like to make the dovetails in such a way so that they do not extend all the way to the outer edges of the box. The reason why we do this is to keep the dovetails from breaking when the box or the furniture or whatever it is that you are putting the dovetails into is assembled together. You can see that in the diagram and I will post a link to this diagram in the video description. Here you can see the tails clearly marked and also mark the 
very edge of the board, be sure to use a square because you want these cuts to start very squarely. And you will do the same process when you go to cut the tail sections out of the other thicker board. Deepen the lines on which you're going to cut, as this will help keep the saw in place since these are diagonal cuts. And Tom just likes to do this with a knife. And he cuts into these lines from the area that's going to be cut out just to deepen them further. And that really helps draw the saw on the lines that need to be cut. Tom just uses his homemade cross-cut frame saw to make these cuts, carefully cutting just down to the line but not past the line of the depth. He does one direction first in angle-wise and then he switches and will do the other direction. Two edge pins can simply be cut with a small cross-cut cut. And there it pops right out. The other pins will have to be chiseled out. And he just makes vertical cuts. And... Let me cuts horizontally into those vertical cuts, gradually chiseling away the material at the base. After he gets enough cut out, he flips the board over to the other side and starts cutting from that side. You don't want to cut your pins out all the way from one side. And the process is the same. Cut vertical cuts perpendicular to the face of the board and then chisel out into those cuts to get most of the waste out. Clean up the bases with a knife, and that should get them pretty accurate. Getting those last little pieces out of the corner, and then you'll see you have very nice looking little triangle pins. Use the resulting dovetail or simply tails on the thinner board as a pattern to mark the thicker board. Scribe with a marking knife. On this board, remember it is the matching tails that will be cut and removed while the pins will remain, and thus you have your dovetail joint. Be sure that you have lined up your board edges accurately.
deepen those scribed lines, and Tom is using a chisel to do that here. And note how he is angling the chisel from the inside to the outer edge of the cut. Scribe and deepen the vertical sections of the cut with a knife, being sure to keep this perpendicular to the edge of the board. Here is a close-up of the areas to be cut out from the thicker board. We have colored in the dovetail sections which are getting cut out. And the pins are uncolored and will not be cut. The sawing process for cutting out the dovetail sections and leaving the remaining pin sections is essentially the same as was done for the section of board or the thinner section of board that had the dovetails remained and the pins cut out. And a view from the opposite side, just cutting down to the depth line, but not below it. The saw cuts are complete, and now it's just time to chisel out the waste. Chisel away the material from the smaller end of the section to be cut out first. That just helps keep it from ripping out if you start from the other side. And he likes to do the vertical cuts and then cut into that vertical cut, gradually removing material. And just like on the other thinner piece, don't try to do these cuts from one direction all at once. Work first from the smaller side that's getting cut out and then to the larger side. And the process is the same. Vertical cuts from the surface down into the thickness of the wood and then horizontal cuts into those vertical cuts. test fit, and make any adjustments necessary. You can see here that Tom has actually made his cuts that the dovetail of this board is going to fit into a little bit proud, and he always does that so he can fine tune it at the end. And he can cut straight down with a chisel. And he did put a slight mark with a marking knife so he could guide where he was cutting. And he does this for each of the dovetails. And 
and it's still a little bit tight in a couple of spots. So a little bit of fine tuning will fix it. And there you have a beautiful dovetail. The pins here are slightly proud of the surface, but that's easy to fix. A plane will just plane that off very nicely and it will be perfectly smooth.